Okay, welcome back. So. Unfortunately, uh, Jack and Daxter took a little bit longer than I was expecting just because we ended up beating the game. <laughs> so, that might cut into a little bit of Sly Cooper time. I, I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a sec here how long I feel like going. But, um... We just started this game up last time I did the stream for this, and so this is just going to be our second one. We're really just getting our feet wet with this one. Uh, ended up getting to the second world, and we took a quick peek at it, but there wasn't a whole lot done. So I'm guessing that whatever is going to happen, we're going to get into the crux of this level. Been real interesting so far. We defeated Mr. Frogman, and uh, he had like a pirate-themed level. And now we're going after some dog dude, and he's got, like, I don't, is it like Vegas or something? Kind of something like that. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chooses to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound <laughs> logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sick. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Daler. Hope you feel better. I was feeling pretty damn sick uh, the other day, too, so I know what that feels like. Hopefully you didn't get what I got. I don't know what the hell I had, but I was, like, nauseous and dizzy, but I never threw up. <laughs> so I never got that sweet release. But anyway, thanks for sticking around. Glad you could stick around for Jack and Daxter. Uh, but you take care. Have a good night. Hope you feel better. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get on into this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Shit. Oh, they got rocket launchers. Oh, you got another shot. Okay, yeah. You were saying that, like, that last one didn't really, or maybe that wasn't you. I don't remember. I thought, I thought I was talking to you about that last one you got, and you said you didn't really feel anything. That last booster shot I got made me feel awful. Aches, pains, fever, chills. I got it all. So, yeah. I know what that shit's like. Well, hopefully it'll only last a day or whatever. Shit. I, I don't think I had the dive equipped. What? There we go. Okay. What did I have equipped? The line? Oh, yeah. We unlocked that last time, and it was kind of shitty. I was trying to dive right into him, but that didn't work. There we go. Man, I don't know what the hell's going on here either, but something, something's looking a little funky. Is the PlayStation itself looking funky? Maybe it's just this level, I don't know. For some reason it looks staticky to me. Eh, maybe it sorted itself out. Oh, there's a level. Murray's Big Gamble. So what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Ooh, a sniping Use mission. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. This is interesting. Gives a little variety on the missions. Last time we got a little uh, twin stick shooter. Seeing this is a canyon and everything, this also reminds me of... Uh, the section in the Bounty Hunter game on PS2, where you have to cover for Zam. She's running through some deserty canyon. Keep it up. Oh, oh. oh shit! Oh, he only takes one hit too. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, let's try that again. That there, somebody was creeping around the back. Maybe unless I could have preempted him or something, but somebody oh, got him in. awful quick. Oh. 
I didn't think the blast radius would be that big. Time to move, Sly. Oh, I could shoot him? I didn't think there was friendly fire. Maybe that's what happened the first time around. I'm going in, Sly. All right, well, we're figuring some things out. Sometimes I could shoot over them, and then sometimes it seems like it's a little risky. Bingo. I wish I could manually zoom out and in. Oh god, only halfway there. Cables are worrying me. Woo! He running. Make sure to return that now. All right. Oh, that was interesting. I think what I'm seeing, because somebody came in here. I was speaking with someone in chat when I was playing this the first time, and they were mentioning that this game has got some frame rate issues on PS2, which this is a PS2 copy of the game, so when we're seeing like some weird stuttering like that, that must just be it. I'll hit the big one up first. Guess might as well. Boneyard Casino. look like much. Nice job getting in, but look out for those guards. Mugshot's got those machine gun toting dogs hunting like a pack. <laughs> what did you say? It's so weird. Hunting like a pack. So distracted for right now. Can I get up on here? No, I can't. Let's figure out what these guys. Oh yeah, the bottles. <laughs> Doesn't look right in front of him. Just wherever the light shows. Shit. 
All right. Well, next time, I guess we'll just leave him alone. I'll probably leave this guy alone, too. It's so simple just to take him out, though. Okay, that didn't work as good as I thought it was going to. Somehow I died. I think the other guy shot me. I was hoping that the dive would allow me to hit both of them at once, and it didn't. I hit one, and then it, it was like I hit a roadblock. Attacking this guy, though, even though the other ones got alerted. Oh, okay. But yeah, it broke up their pattern, which made it easier to slip through. Whereas here, I guess that's not that bad. Oh yeah, this shit. down there eventually. Damn. <laughs> it's like I couldn't leave those bottles. You can't leave the bottles. any of these either. They got coins in them. No bottle left behind. Okay. Ooh. I'm impressed these things have like freeform physics, but... Hold up, hold up. Finally, we get an opportunity to use this, maybe. No! I got a life out of it. That was perfect, though. I don't see how he saw me. Same issue with those squid guys from the last set of levels. Like, they are nowhere near close to turning around, but as soon as you hit them, they just... or do an attack of some sort. They just freak out. Okay, is there something in here? What is this? I need to get is I need to get the security chest that's got the details that'll show me where everything is when I look at it. Oh, there's a okay. Hmm. Oh well, thank you for the lurk sabotage. Congrats on beating Jack and Daxter. Appreciate it. Yeah, that was a little confusing, but <laughs> I'm, I'm more disappointed by the fact that getting the white eco was literally you just had to wait for it i think i tried to punch one of those mines or something and then i think i just ended up blowing us up so it kind of sucked that i had to go through all that just to get uh <laughs> get basically touch something and then unlock a cutscene. but it is what it is oh yay i thought maybe that would get us to a higher area but that works too. No, 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 get down. Shit. I wonder if that resets. 
or if they just know now. I guess now it's just lethal and it won't turn unlethal. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering what was going on there. Does he walk around like that? I guess if you get a hundred coins while you have a silver horseshoe, you get an extra life out of it. It's the first time I saw that, just in this level. Um, it almost looks like some of those trims that we saw before don't see any bottles on there. This is a big level too. Even see where the sensor was. <laughs> Love the sound that makes. Oh, God. I wasn't even looking at him. Oh, okay. I see. Some of these have sensors in them. Little laser grids. Thirty-six. I see one, two, three. I'm just gonna say there's probably four down that way. There is. There's two, three. Oh, shit. Hmm. Hopefully it's up top. I think there was one up top. There had to be. Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, Bentley. <laughs> Gone mute for a second. time. That seems like a pretty <laughs> substantial ability. Although advancing time doesn't seem nearly as good as slowing it down. But I guess we have that one. It's only applicable in jumps, though. Sly, this giant roulette wheel is spinning too fast to jump counterclockwise around it. You'll have to jump in the other direction to try to land on the green section. Oh, so close. Yeah, that ra something happened. That radio signal got lost. Just 
just occurred to me that we could use this. Oh no! Oh shit. <laughs> we were caught in a perpetual slowdown moment. Cool. <laughs> Doing a bit of the stanky leg there, though. What do these guys do again? Oh, they just got the maces. in itself is a level at the dog track all right all right what's going on down there well i drove to this hot dog stand for a quick snack and the next thing you know i'm getting challenged to a race by these gangster what is that face <laughs> it looks like a real person three times around the track for a key it's all you man Drive the van with the left analog stick, and if you manage to pick up any nitro power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get them! <laughs> I'm on it! It's starting to remind me of Crash now with all these weird little side minigames. I guess Spyro is kind of like that too, huh? Like these weird little vehicle segments. Today, get out of here. Go. Oh, they can grab him. Bastard. Whoa. <laughs> GTA physics. Advancing one place is rough enough as it is. Can I? Okay, cool. I, Cause I don't think I'm gonna win that. So I might as well not even attempt it. But yeah, man, they start off fast. Inside track, but getting those turns is a little rough too. It's like I need the nitro just to get myself out of a turn. Dick. They don't even use them, they just break them. I mean, I wouldn't want them to use them, but it's like playing keep away. like uh, vehicle controls I think out of any of these games I've played so far.
Like the turning is so smooth that almost like a driving a war dog or something. But it does take momentum away from you, so it's not like it's steady. Trying. Start banging them. So great. What the hell was that? It's like a little musical key off that would happen. Oh. See, I think he was in first last time, so I didn't get to hear that. musical car. Okay. Key, I think the key here is not trying to get those tight turns like that because that just slows me down. So I gotta like ease myself into a turn because that keeps my momentum. I was trying to whip around too fast, takes all that speed away. Did he break his shit? I guess he was in front of me. Ah, oh, they just keep slowing me down. And this asshole up front, he keeps taking him. Oh yeah. Way to go, Murray. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and then he just pulls into the hot dog. Oh, the key was there. Okay, I got it. I thought he just, <laughs> he just won the race and then decided to go have a snack. I don't really know where else to go. It's not back that way. It is a little rough. It was a little rough. It would have been nicer if I could actually control the camera. But, it, I mean, it wasn't too bad. Like I said, those those controls for the actual car are super, super tight. So. I mean, as long as you could get it to a point where you weren't losing momentum. Oh, sorry, I missed that earlier. You're talking about the, the speed up ability, though, right? Because of the scarecrow. Well, 
or I could see it being handy, the speed up ability is I guess if you're looking at the enemies walk their, you know, whatever pattern they're supposed to be walking in. You can bypass certain things a little bit quicker. <laughs> a tough guy, huh? Let's see if there's anything else here to do. Guess not, though. I hear something. I think it's a level. Would you look at that ugly mug? I am! And I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My x-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. But you need all seven keys to open it up. I'm on it. Yep, yep, yep. Guess it needs to be a little more taut if we're gonna be climbing up it. Let's see the mirrors perk up. Breaking shit, man. Come on. <laughs> I thought that was gonna give me a little cover. I don't know if the cards actually went through it fully though. So it might have it might have been good for one one usage. Oh, let's see if we can jump it. This jump isn't that long. Well, 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 look who just uh -huh. walked into my crosshairs. Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. Was getting worried about you. I thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. <laughs> There's a lot of banter. I still need to get the bottles. You'll have to bear with me. I wonder if we replay this level. If she's still gonna be after us. Probably. Oh god. shit in here. Okay. 
think I'll probably need to get the drop on that guy. Literally. This guy's not really given any opportunity either. Oh, here we go. There better be three bottles in there. The other chest, this guy's a garden. Two! Ah, shit. <laughs> I might have missed one on the running part. There was one section where I didn't get a good look. I'm hoping it's up here, but I'm not hopeful. Oh, shit. Whoa. Whoa! Thanks, game. It, like, tried to save me, but then it put me on a falling platform. on that circle button. Just taking a quick look just to make sure that there's no bottle I missed. up on shit. What a shame. One bottle. It must have been in the first running sequence. I gotta go back. I gotta check it. I mean, that, that was a pretty short level. So, we gotta look. Uh, let's see. She's still here. It's kind of a shame. I hope it's not in this section that she needs to like blow up or something like that. Like I'm looking at this environment and some of it's destructible. Yep. Oh, God damn it! I knew it was one of these buildings. It was either this building or the previous one. I was like, there's one I didn't, like, check the back of really well.
Good thing I know Navajo code talk. Try five, three, two. additions to Mesa City. With mm. these files, I'll be able to help you find all his clues and breakables. That's what I was looking for. for to get the information. The beauty of this is we can just exit the level. What's that do? So... When you look through your binoculars now, whenever you get those blueprints, you can see important things highlighted. Which is good if you're looking for bottles and other things like that. But I think it also shows any sort of pickup, so lives, horseshoes. Pretty sure, yeah, they're color-coded. So there's like something down there, I don't know what that means. It's like underneath the bar, I guess. There's anything out around there. Straight to the top. I think it's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, so there's like dog men, but then there's also like legitimate dogs. It's kind of like a Mickey and Pluto situation. Are those just like <laughs> not so bright dog people? Or do we just have two different species? See those neon tubes? I know they look like you can't climb on them, but with your thieving skills, I bet you can pull it off. All right. Should I break that? Yes, I can. Let me get on top. There we go. That apparently doesn't seem to do anything for me, but... <laughs> They're just slaves. They've entered a dark chapter in this Light Cooper world. Um, I think I need to cross the signs in order to get over there. Oh, there's a couple bottles this way, though, so it's a good thing I stopped and looked. It wasn't even crossing my mind. Okay, that's convenient. Be moving like that. Hold up. The hell was that? Oh, it's the car falling and hitting something. I thought it was like the window I stepped on. 
You know, I don't think I gave this game enough credit with the soundtrack last time. Um, because there's been like a number of tracks that I've really liked. And it uses layered tracks too. I don't think Ratchet does layered tracks. But when I was thinking about it previously, I was like, well, Jack and Daxter probably got the weakest soundtrack. It's nice and ambiotic, but there's not really anything, you know, you could bop your head to <laughs> necessarily. Maybe if I turned it up, I don't know. It was also really quiet. It seems like they mixed it pretty low too. Um, but I was like, Ratchet and Clank, definitely the best. It probably still is, but I actually like quite a bit of the music in this game. And it's got layered tracks too, which is nice. So you've got like action variants. Huh. Was that, <laughs> that, was, that wasn't a good idea. It seemed like there might have been something in the back there. Um, but yeah, I always appreciated layered tracks too. Was something like that started with Metal Gear after all. There's a lot in there, jeez. Keep it coming. Hmm. Okay, I think I need to get back on the neon signs. If I can even... Can I do that from here? I might not be able to. Oof. Oh, we can do it from here. Ooh, no. of that. Doesn't look like there is. Oops. Sorry. Hmm. I should get up on the sign. I could actually hear him or I couldn't hear the frog at all when he got on the PA. I think we're supposed to go up there, maybe. I don't know. Let me look over here, though. Yeah, we ain't crossing that. Okay. any hidden bottles back here either. No. There's these. close to that wall there. All part of the plan. I'm so close to getting a new life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, one more. Shit. It's not up here, is it? Oh, it is up here. Nice. Thank God. <laughs> Always has me worried. Every time I get up to the end. 38, 39. Nothing. Toot your own horn. What we got? Oh yeah, this will come in handy. It's Suzanne Cooper's notes pertaining to water safety. With this knowledge under your belt, you won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. Oh, that's really nice actually. I mean, I make a point to keep away from water anyway, but sometimes you just slip up and accidentally fall in. I'm guessing the same thing happens, like you get the same animation, it's just that you're not using a charm. <laughs> yes, let me will this with my mind here. room, huh? Wow, wow. <laughs> I didn't even realize that the game had a bolt to track. Oh, it's a secret. Okay, that's why they were glowing. I was wondering, what is over here that it's getting highlighted? I wonder if the same thing happens over here. I guess it's not a secret, their bells are clearly there, but... I wouldn't have thought there'd be that many coins inside of them. Um, hmm. like in the middle there. I don't know how to get to it. There's the downed casino sign. It's my initial thought, because I tried to jump on this before. Let me see if maybe I need to approach it from another angle. Oh yeah. Okay, I think I just tried to hook on it without actually jumping. Back alley heist. Bottles. 
Sometimes those coins look silver, but I don't know if they have different amounts or if that's just like the lighting, so to speak. Oops. Guess not. side. to jump up there just straight from that um yeah it's weird i guess it's just there to block you there's nothing really i can apparently do with that knock all those off. It's a shame they don't hit the enemies down below. I know it's not angled for that, but it would have been funny. down here. This is a different area though. Doesn't seem like there's anything to actually do down here. Huh. Strange. I think we're back on track, though. That's okay. I've seen that there's swingable spots, but... Ooh. Shoot. I don't know if that actually gets me to anything. It doesn't... Eh, it doesn't look like it. It's a little horseshoe for nothing. Can I die? I really want to go back and get those bottles. Oh, yeah. We gotta use a horseshoe. Oh, okay. 
So I guess gaps just count as water too now, maybe? Start the checkpoint now. Oh. No getting back from that. Fantastic. <laughs> it's a cardboard cutout. Although it's in silhouette, I wonder if that's supposed to... It's just supposed to be black, I guess. I mean, because there's not... I don't think there's any form of lighting here. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, seven. Seven keys. Okay, I just don't know where I needed to take them is the only thing. We were talking about an elevator, but I thought the elevator was behind the actual head thing. But <laughs> I thought I switched back. Not what I wanted to do. It was taking so long getting that decoy out. elevator. Uh, 
<laughs> what? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and... <laughs> and... and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick! Right. Wait a like John Melendez. I've seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked her block off with it. Your father? Wow! You're a Cooper? You know that Singus Rakamagookas had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint. I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock. <laughs> oh, he does walk around like that. Skip leg day so much you don't need him. See what the gimmick here is. It's a stalker suedo giant. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Guns. Okay. I think I lost all my lives there. Pretty sure that hasn't happened yet. Okay, but once we get the stuff lit. I guess I don't understand what happens after the fact. So you just gotta light them all. <laughs> Shot and knocked off. Same that with the lives that you get, you don't get to continue from the second level, but I guess that's how it was with the first boss, too. So, shouldn't expect things to be any different. I need you to come around, dude. Can he shoot? Oh, <laughs> uh, at least I had the horseshoe, but still. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to shoot through the actual uh, mirrors. Yep, looks like he can. Got caught up on the side there. Great.
Did I hit that one middle one back here? I don't think oh, yeah, I did. Oh, I didn't hit the one on the corner, that's the one I didn't hit. Oh shit! That was kind of a weird ending part. <laughs> a little pipsqueak like you, beating a big strong bruiser like me. I was waiting for something else to happen, but I guess it didn't. You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Rue. And then believe you me, you don't want to be you. Mugshot section of Thanks for letting me know where to go. Contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor. Tennessee Kid Cooper. Ooh. Do we get a gun? He was the rail walk and rail slide. Oh. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the old west. I guess that's cool getting too. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. Nice. I figured out a way to get us to Haiti. What you doing, Murray? Video games. It's got one of them uh, PS1 screen things. I never had one of those. I always wanted one though. Despite the fact that I probably never would have used it like that. <laughs> I thought it would be cool for like road trips. There was also, I think there was one for the GameCube too. That I always had my eye on. But it was kind of around that time where I wasn't really taking road trips quite as frequently. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Oh my god. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Hmm. Interesting. Sly Cooper and Vicious Voodoo. Let's get a good little look in here. Ooh. 
That's a big ass mosquito. I guess it might be sentient or sapient. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not a problem. This swab is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the raccoon railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And where it's super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Oh. I was wondering how I was gonna get back there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I guess that's how I get that one. Uh, I can't go back any? I guess not. Oh. <laughs> well, at least we have the water ability that prevents us from taking damage. And or dying. Woo, spiders. I swear I hit the circle button. You know me and grind rails, though. Ooh. What's up, Akiri? Love Sly Cooper. Nice. So you played this one before. There's been a couple people. It seems like of the three games that I started up, most people have played Ratchet and Clank. Some people have played Sly Cooper, and then almost nobody played Jack and Dexter. I've been enjoying this one so far, though. Quite a bit. Might be the one I continue on and play through the rest of the series. It's also actually less daunting than Ratchet and Clank 2. Not to get any spoilers for anybody that's <laughs> thinking uh, they play some bets on what game I'm going to continue on with, but uh, still. I was wondering if there'd be an animation for that. Sucking his blood out. All of them? Cool, cool. Oh, that was all our lives. As I figured, no checkpoints if you lose all your lives. You gotta start back at the beginning. That's not too bad. I kinda wonder what would happen though. I'm gonna find a better way to take on those mosquitoes. I've been digging it though. And I do have, I mean, out of preparation for potentially playing any one of these series. Um, I got all of the sequels. Well, I got all the sequels on PS2. I got all the PS2 games for Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, and Sly Cooper. There's still... Oh man, I think it's on PS3. There's a Thieves in Time one. I actually have that one on the Vita and never played it. Apparently it's pretty close. In terms of... You know, the actual gameplay and everything. So that's, I mean, that's pretty cool, but... I can't stream a Vita, unfortunately. But anyway, I think if it comes to it, I, I don't know. I might just stick with the PS2 games, regardless of what it is. Get in 
an actual life out of that. I suppose if I really like the series that I continue on with, I might end up doing a sequel or two, but no promises. These bastards are hard to hit. Oh good, I need that. Thanks. Oh boy. I know I need to go down there to that main platform, but I'm just checking to see if there's any bottles I missed. Because it's kind of not looking like it. Outside of the one that's down here. Good voodoo, man. Oh, it's like, it's like a gopher. Okay, so there's still bottles in this area. That's good. We haven't even seen the safe yet, so I don't really have to worry about anything. There's a safe. I think I only got four more, yeah. Ooh, shoot. Woo! I'll go after the bottles after I finish this up, yeah? Yeah, don't get cocky. I kill all the dudes too? They like all grunted for a second. Freaked me out. Oh yeah, they're like, oh. <laughs> that one like shifted into another reality. I'm not too sure what happened there. Alrighty then. How many, okay, so I'm missing one bottle. It's nice. Press the circle to enter the vault code. Already on it. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be five eight eight. What's it gonna be? Find, tell him the Cooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now <laughs> your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. <laughs> Alright, well I like that better, because the roll... I don't think you could attack enemies with the roll before. That and it was hard to control. It still is hard to control. But at least now, maybe it does some damage, I guess. So, that's cool. Might start using it a little more often. By which I mean, using it at all. Alright. My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. That's pretty cool looking.
creepy music. Yeah, so there was either two, there was two options they could do for voices. I was kind of hoping for the other option, which would be like, sort of that Rastafarian Haitian <laughs> kind of sounding voice. Let's do a little save. I guess it already saved for us. This game has an auto save, but you can never be too sure. Um, but anyway, this looks like it'll be interesting. Quite a bit going on here. 42% though, it seems like this one, hmm. I mean, this is just our second stream though, so it might end up being kind of on the shorter side. I guess I'm not too sure, but anyway, I think that's probably going to wrap it up for right now because we've been going for a while. Uh, unfortunately, with the Sly stream, it ended up being a little bit on the shorter side just because, oops. <laughs> Jack and Daxter took a little bit too long. Uh, however, we will get back into this. It might end up taking a little bit longer to finish this game up, strictly because I kind of cut it short for Jack. But I guess we're just down to Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper now. So I guess next time we'll do a Sly Cooper stream, it'll be extra long. So I guess maybe it'll it'll work out eventually. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it. I will be back hopefully tomorrow. We'll do some ratchet and clank, put some time into that game. And then early on in the week, we're going to get back into shadow of the tomb Raider, which we just started yesterday. So it should be good. Uh, thank you guys for watching though. Appreciate it. Uh, Daler did redeem his points to raid be known. So we're going to go ahead and raid them. Uh, so I'll start that up, but thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it as always. Y'all have a good night. See you, Hikiri. You take care. Thank you for dropping by. And uh, everybody, we'll hopefully see you around next time. So take care.